Shadow work is one of the most profound and effective ways to increase our self-awareness, our self-compassion, and just to find greater peace and ease in our lives, in the world, and in our bodies. But there's one aspect of shadow work that nobody is talking about, and it's one of the most healing aspects. I'm talking about the golden shadow. So the golden shadow is your repressed light, your repressed brilliance. It's your hidden potential and your authentic voice that you had to cut off from to some degree when you were being socialized in this world. And reclaiming your inner wisdom, reclaiming your authenticity and connecting with this golden shadow is one of the biggest gifts that shadow work has to offer. I'm Karenna with Hello Inner Light, and I'm an emotional healing coach who's here to help you heal the emotional wounds, subconscious blocks, and self-sabotaging core beliefs that are holding you back. So if that's the kind of content that you need more of in your life, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and hit that bell so you're notified every time I release a new video. So what exactly is the golden shadow? Our shadow self is a part of our subconscious psyche that holds all of the parts of ourselves that we've disowned over the years. All of the aspects of ourselves that we've rejected, denied, or repressed in order to fit in with our families or with society. So many people think of the shadow self as the confusing or embarrassing parts of us. It's the unenlightened parts of us or the parts of us that society has judged as bad or wrong. And that is all down there in the shadow. But what most people don't realize is that when we're growing up, we often have to reject and repress huge parts of our inner knowing, our creativity, our authentic voice, our personal power. And so all of those aspects of yourself are still down there deep in your subconscious psyche. Like for example, if you're always told you have to be tough, you know, buck up, just go through it, then a lot of vulnerable parts of you, maybe sweet and tender parts of you are gonna be relegated into your shadow self. And and so that's called the golden shadow. It's the part of ourselves that we've repressed or denied that holds our brilliance, our unique light, and really, really beautiful aspects of ourselves. And it is hand in hand with the other part of that shadow. They are one and the same deep in our psyche. And when you access one, you also begin to access the other. So in my work as an emotional healing coach, I utilize a revolutionary technique called regenerating images and memory. And in regenerating images and memory, basically I guide my clients and my students deep into their subconscious psyche so that we can begin to excavate what's there. We bring love to those darker aspects of the shadow and we basically just begin to heal the wounds that are stuck in that subconscious place because those wounds have so much power over our everyday lives. But every single time that I journey with a client into their subconscious psyche, this golden shadow shows up, this deep inner wisdom shows up to kind of hold space for the journey. And I think that that is as profound of a healing as bringing love to those more wounded or confused parts of the psyche. Because as you reconnect to your authentic voice, to your inner light, to your personal power, and to what brings you joy deep inside that authentic joy, it helps you in embody it in everyday life. You basically bring it out of the subconscious and into conscious awareness. And then when it's part of your conscious awareness, you can begin to look at the world differently. You can have a fresh perspective and new eyes on everything. So it's sad to me that people aren't talking about this aspect of shadow work because I feel like this golden shadow in some ways holds space for the deeper shadow work, the deeper bringing love to the dark places, to accepting the difficulties and the hurts that you find in your psyche. So this is a huge and important piece of shadow work that most people are forgetting to talk about. Here are some aspects of self that are commonly found in the golden shadow. Creativity, intuition, the intelligence of your body, Many of us have been discouraged early on in our lives from listening to our gut feelings or being honest about our inner knowings, which reside in our intuition and the intelligence of our body. Your joyful inner child. So lots of us know about our wounded inner child, but there's also a joyful inner child within you who knows how to play, who knows how to be creative and free in ways that many of us have forgotten as adults. So this wise and joyful inner child is a part of the golden shadow. 
there's often a strong sense of purpose and direction. So even for people who consciously feel very lost, deep inside the golden shadow, their purpose, their greater purpose, has not been forgotten. And often people feel like they're connected to all things or that they belong to something bigger than themselves and they have a deep knowing of the essence of that which they belong to in this golden shadow. And of course, a deep inner wisdom, a deep inner wisdom that holds the answers to all of their questions. And this deep inner wisdom often has a really beautiful heart-centered perspective, a really understanding and self-loving perspective. So mystics have long spoken about this aspect of ourselves, right? The light within, your inner knowing. They speak about how all of your answers are within. There are quotes like, be still and know. All of these speak to the essence of that hidden wisdom within, that hidden light within, which is your golden shadow. And of course, most of us are familiar with this amazing Marianne Williamson quote. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. So deep inside, you know the truth of the golden shadow, but it can be pretty hard for the conscious mind to grasp just by the very nature of the fact that it's subconscious. Our conscious mind doesn't tune into it that naturally or easily. So here are a few tips of how to connect with your golden shadow. Firstly, you can practice honoring and accepting all parts of you. So this tendency that we have in our culture to reject or repress all of the negative or uncomfortable or embarrassing aspects of ourself leads to more shadow being created. And anything like good vibes only or anything like that just leads to more repression, which leads to more shadow. So the opposite of that is really accepting all parts of you, learning to grow in self-love and honor and recognize that the parts of you that are embarrassing or vulnerable or just kind of confusing or socially unacceptable, all of those parts need love too. When it comes to the shadow, you can't really just cherry pick the good from the bad. And personally, I don't even see them as good and bad. I mean, our society may have judged some things as bad, but that's not the reality when we dive into the psyche. So for example, many of us have been required to repress our anger to stay in connection with our caregivers when we were children or to be accepted in our society, right? But within anger also is our personal power, a sense of empowerment and a sense of self-value. So if we reject our anger, a bad part, <laughs> then we also reject our empowerment and our self-value, which we would see as good parts. So it's all really mixed up together down in the shadow and all of it deserves your love and honoring. And so that's tip number one is just to honor and accept all parts of yourself. Tip number two is to learn how to connect with your heart and with your body. So all of this deep inner wisdom may be confusing to our analytical mind and it may be confusing to our ego, but our bodies, our cells and our hearts, they have not forgotten and they still are in communication with this deep inner wisdom. So if you practice tuning in to your heart, tuning into the sensations of your body, then you have a really good first step of how to start communicating with the deeper parts of your psyche. And step three, of course, is that you could try something like regenerating images and memory, which actually leads you to learn how to communicate with these deeper parts of your psyche with the goal of just bringing more healing, wholeness, self-understanding, and more embodiment of your authentic self into your life. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you got a ton out of it, and I really do hope that it inspires you to start to connect with your own golden shadow. I believe that your unique light, your authentic voice, and your creativity are really needed in the world right now. So I hope that you are encouraged to love and accept all parts of yourself a little bit more, and maybe go a little bit deeper into your subconscious psyche to explore these aspects of yourself. So if you wanna learn more, I actually have a free 
free training available to you called The Secret Wisdom of Your Triggers. During this training, you get to uncover the subconscious roots of your triggers and learn a new paradigm of self-healing. And of course, you can also just go to my website, helloinnerlight.com to learn more about regenerating images and memory or any of the work that I do. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more content just like this. Thank you so much and have a lovely day.